Om Amma. Know the basics of Sanatana Dharma. Episode 40. Topic. Attacks on Vedas for last thousand years. Vedas part 4. Episode 40. By Chandrasekhar J. Dear friends, during last thousand years, Bharatiya culture was attacked in many ways. In that process, the sanctity of Vedas was also intentionally debased. The attacks on Vedas can be of various kinds. Here we'll be discussing few major uh, aspects of attacks difference. One is the physical attacks during Islamic invasions. Second, intellectual misinterpretation by Western scholars. Three, assault on Vedic ecosystems by Indian intellectuals. Four, neglect due to lure of modern lifestyles. These are the uh, attacks on Vedas, dear friends. Now let us discuss about the physical attacks due to invasions. In the attempts of physical elimination, we had lost the glorious temples, which were once the treasure house of, for our knowledge. Vedic scholars' houses were torched and their books were consigned to flames on the mid streets by these demonic mindsets, dear friends. We would have become, we would become enraged if we analyze the history. Many sacred books were turned apart and libraries were burned. Please note that attack was not only on the temples, but also on the Vedic knowledge and on the Vedic scholars. In spite of brutal attacks and in the environment of forceful conversions, uh, the Vedic scholars tried their best to save the treasure of Vedic knowledge, dear friends. Now, let us come to the intellectual misinterpretation by Western scholars. During British rail, Western scholars called as Indologists did research on Indian scriptures. They did research by wearing Western glasses without understanding the Indian culture. They tried to fix the time frame for Vedas within the framework of biblical chronology and fixed it around 2000 BC to 1500 BC, dear friends. And we all know the terms of Max Muller in this regard. As per the Archbishop's Usher's chronology, which says God created world in 4004 uh, BC. So, basing on this date, everything has been rearranged. Our history was completely concocted. They concocted the Aryan invasion theory to support the view and thus divided the people of India difference. They learned some part of Vedas and started writing commentaries on them and misinterpreting them with ulterior motives. Now, let us uh, 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 understand what Kanchi Paramacharya, Sri Chandrasekhar in the Saraswati, who himself is a great Vedic scholar and who has learned many languages, he has uh, written this, he has in his talks, and that book is available that is called as Hindu Dharma. He was telling these words, which I am quoting here, <clears throat> dear friends. I'll read it for you. The intention of many of those who call themselves as Orientalists or Indologists was not above reproach. They wanted to reconstruct the history of India on the basis of their study of Vedas. And in course of this, they concocted the Aryan Dravidian theory of races and sowed the uh, hatred among the people. Purporting to be rationalists, uh, they wrongly interpreted uh, in an allegorical manner what cannot be comprehended by our senses. In commenting on the Vedas, they took the view that sages were primitive men. They, through some of them, though some of them pretended to be impartial, their hidden intention in conducting research into our religious texts was to propagate Christianity and to show Hinduism in the poor light. This is what 
Kanchi Paramacharya, Sri Chandrasekhar in the Saraswati says on the attacks on Vedas. Now he continues, uh, modern historians have adopted chiefly two methods to determine the date of Vedas. The first is based on the astronomical references in scriptures and the second one on the morphology of the language of the sea. But have they, using either method, come to any different conclusion? Each investigator has arrived at different age. Tilak has arranged, assigned the date 6000 BC to Vedas. According to some others, it is 3000 BC or 5000, 1500 BC. Karmacharya questions the time fixed by the scholars. Similar astronomical conjunction uh, would have occurred earlier also, that is prior to 6000 BC. Tilak has come out with an astrological, uh, astronomical conjunction that happened and uh, he has fixed the date around 6000. So Paramacharya says that the same conjunction would have happened earlier. Vedas are to be chanted with precision and sacredness. Special care is taken to preserve the original sound through traditional oral chanting. The Vedangas like Siksha and Vyakarna are devised by our forefathers to preserve the sound of each Vedic syllable from undergoing, from uh, not undergoing uh, mutation. Dear friends, so Vedangas, especially Siksha and Vyakarna, they take care of how to pronounce the sound, with what length, within what time and what precision and with what strength. So these are there that the sanctity of the sound is preserved for Vedas. Even today, because of this, it was, it was called as Shrutis. It was not written down. Scholars have tried to fix the date of the Vedas by examining the character of the sound of their words. They, is, they say there is a rule in linguistic that every 200 years uh, words change. This rule is not logical and cannot be applied for Vedas as it is supported by Vedangas. So Kanchi Paramacharya says this rule cannot be applied here because a lot of care was taken to preserve the sound. They preserve the precision of utterance of the sound in Vedas. This is what Paramacharya says. Now in the modern day research, one Dr. Vedam he is a PhD in electrical engineering from Oregon State of University, USA. He is working at confluence of applied mathematics, engineering, algorithms, and computer science, and using the tools of archaeogenetics, archaeoastronomy, archaeology, and pursuing the evidence of knowledge transfer from ancient India. According to him, he says, the investigation of genetics shows a very ancient people living continuously in India since 85,000 years ago. The genetics say that there is a scientific uh, uh, data available. Investigations in archaeology now shows artifacts from at least 10,000 years ago. Investigation in astronomical observation shows artifacts from 24,000 years ago. All of these things are now adding up to an untold story that we are a very ancient people, that we have not been diligent with ourselves in talking about this. Dear friends, one can listen to his talks. Uh, uh, you can say the Indian civilization, the untold story, the talk by Rajvedam. So it is almost one of our talk which lucidly explains the various aspects of the uh, ancient Indian civilization. And you can also refer to the other talks that uh, the story of ancient India falsifying Max Muller dates using astronomy, a talk by Rajveda. So dear friends, he is a scholar who is trying to work on as using astronomy and archaeology. And, uh, and he is collaborating many evidences which you can uh, hear to dear friends. Now let us take a simple illustration of how Westerners misinterpreted the Vedic verses. Rig Veda says, Kurvantu Vishwam Aryam. This is a simple thing. If we take the meaning of it, let us make this world noble. Arya means, Arya means a noble person. Arya means, let us make it noble. The translations made by Griffith and Wilson. Now in Griffith says, performing every noble work, active, augmenting Indra's strength, driving away the godless ones. 
so this is how the Delphi's translation for that word. And then Wilson's translation, augmenting Indira, urging the waters, making all our acts prosperous, destroying withholders of oblations. This is what uh, um, the Wilson says. So I have taken this from vedicgrand.org, the misconceptions on Vedas. So this is how the Westerners, with their own glasses, with their own interpretations, have uh, misinterpreted the Vedic uh, terminology or Vedic verses, dear friends. Now, apart from this, there were attempts by some uh, Indian intellectuals to glorify Vedas. In that process, they debased the Vedic ecosystem, such as Puranas and idol worship, especially Saguna Sadhana. It is like for the sake of saving the roots of the tree, they have cut down the branches, flowers, and even trunk of it. So this also has uh, done some damage to the sacredness of the Vedas. They, though they have uh, wonderfully interpreted Vedas as great, but they have uh, virtually debased all the uh, Puranas as myth and idol worship as a, uh, as a thing that is not mentioned in Vedas. This also has created a lot of confusion in the minds of people. In the independent India and in modern times, people were lured by Western education, including Brahmins, who are, who are the custodians of Vedic knowledge and neglected the Sanskrit education and Indian culture and imitated the Western ideas. So this, again, our own neglect of Sanskrit language by, uh, after uh, India becoming independent is also one of the reasons. As Swami Vivekananda said long back before India's independence, Indians should learn Sanskrit. Then only they will appreciate the greatness of Vedas and Indian culture, dear friends. Om Loka Samasta Sukino Bhavantu Om Shanti 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 Om Shri Gurubhyo Namaha Harihi Om.